Hi, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're diving into Palace, an exciting experimental feature in JAX that lets you write custom kernels for GPUs and TPUs. Think of it like unlocking a secret level in JAX, where you get to fine-tune performance for your specific hardware. And don't worry, it's not as intimidating as it sounds. With Palace, you can still leverage your familiar JAX functions and APIs, but with more control over the underlying computations. Palace extends JAX by allowing you to write code that runs directly on your GPU or TPU hardware. Why would you want to do this? Well, sometimes JAX's default compilation process might not be perfectly optimized for your specific use case. With Palace, you can step in and write kernels that are tailored to your hardware, potentially leading to significant performance gains. Let's start with a classic Hello World example, adding two vectors. Normally in JAX, you'd use JNP add, but with Palace, we'll do it a little bit differently. First, we import Palace and define our kernel function. It takes three arguments, which are references to memory locations. Notice that we're using xref to read the entire array from the memory location referenced by xref. Then we add the arrays and store the results in oref. Now, to actually use this kernel, we need to wrap it with palace call. This term takes the kernel function, the output shape, and the data type, and some other optional arguments we'll discuss later. Finally, we can call our add vectors function just like any other JAX function. For larger arrays that don't fit in fast on chip memory, Palace uses grids to divide the computation. A grid is simply a multi dimensional array of execution instances, and each instance runs your kernel. Palace also provides block spec, which lets you define how to split your input arrays into blocks for efficient processing by each grid instance. Think of it as slicing your data into bite sized chunks. This is where Palace really shines, allowing you to optimize memory access and maximize parallelism for complex tasks like matrix multiplication. Under the hood, Palace translates your kernel code into either Triton for GPUs or Mosaic for TPUs. This allows for efficient computation and execution on the respective hardware. And don't worry, you don't need to know the specifics of Triton or Mosaic to use Palace. The JAX framework handles the translation for you. So that's a quick overview of Palace. We've just scratched the surface on what's possible with custom kernel programming in JAX. Be sure to check out the JAX documentation for more detailed information and examples. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more JAX content.